Hey everyone, it's Fab Jen, and uh, I just had to do this response to this video. This uh, by Erica Badu is called Flaming Lips, and uh, I'm subscribed to African Export, and she put a discussion debate video up. It's a real short video, and I watched her. I saw her face, and I was going like, "Oh, is it really that bad?" Uh, clicked on the link, y'all. Flabbergasted isn't even a word to begin to describe this video. I mean, I'm all for the art and freedom of expression because any record label, music, music industry exec would not approve that video at freaking all. There's just no one in their right mind would approve that video. I mean, it was... I've, I've seen... I used to live in New York and we were raised there to be very tolerant and acceptable and open-minded about a lot of different things and you know of course you want to have your own beliefs and aesthetics and what i saw made me feel uncomfortable and when it makes me feel uncomfortable not in a let's think about it way but okay i just saw not that i saw a woman's breast or I saw a woman's ass. But when it comes to a point when I'm seeing a woman's labia, I'm seeing her poon poon. I mean, I'm getting a clear shot of it. And I know the fact, no, if I know that you're shaved and I can see the outline and every little razor bumps and everything like that, not cool. I don't want to see your chocha. That's what I saw. I saw a lot of chocha. I saw chocha three or four times. I'm not cool with that. I can live with the breasts, I can live with the ass, but the whole vaginal thing not cool I mean it was like what's next is she gonna bend over and spread it you know her butt cheeks and whatnot I mean I just it was shock and then the suggestion that the liquid in the the first sequence was glitter and this is not all of the video the second sequence was some kind of red liquid that could be mistaken as syrup or mistaken as blood jam it didn't even look like jam it looked like syrup or blood and then the third stick was the final one it's like some white pasty stuff where she was dripping it down her mouth and it looked like jizz no kidding that's where I draw the line and she was enjoying it a little too much this and this and that and that was suggestive of jizz and uh was very taken aback I'm you know, I still love Erica. She does crazy shit like this every once in a blue moon. You know, like running down uh, downtown. I used to live downtown. When she did that video about a year, two years, a couple years ago, she did the video and she stripped down naked. I was like literally five minutes away, less than that, two minutes away from where she was at because I lived down there uh, close to that area. So I was like, okay, you know, she stripped down naked. Okay, no big deal. You know, but I didn't like that she did it when there was children around. And that area, especially during the weekend, is filled with children and families to come honor, you know, JFK. So that was the only thing I had a problem with is the timing that she had and when she did it. But this takes everything to a whole nother level. I was reading comments that that wasn't her Erica. That was her sister. That's close enough. It looked like Erica to me based on what I was seeing in the previous scenes. But it was nutball. This is, I say, definitely check it out and look at it because I mean, give her the, the exposure that she wants. If you're 18 and older, you should not show this to your teenager. This is not a move. This is not something you show to your little girl, your little princess. 18, be an adult to see this. This video is very, 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 uh, Uh, oh God, I'm just I'm at a loss for words. This video is very intense, and you don't want your little ones to see this video. This is definitely for adults. I mean, it's borderline pornographic. I mean, it's it's borderline pornographic. It's something. It's just it's you gotta see it for yourself. 18 and over, gotta see it for yourself. Uh, I will attach the African Export discussion board for that, and I also will attach the video. Thank you, African Export. She's the one that brought this to my attention, to, to 
to a lot of YouTubers' attention, I'm sure. And uh, she has a blog, and she has a discussion open on the blog. Comment on that. Uh, I'll have that link, if, if I get it, I'll have that link posted down below. Uh, I'm not doing this discussion. This is definitely a discussion that African Exporter has open. Please check out her video, which will be in the link below. And it also will be uh, her uh, blog, the exact discussion board of this video topic will be in her blog and that way you can retweet it and comment and everything but this is just man it's gonna blow your mind it's gonna it's gonna disturb you if maybe for a guy this might be hot but for women this might be a little disturbing the the syrup blood thing to the the jizz semen thing that's where I was like oh okay oh, 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 oh. you know that and then the, the showing of the labia, the women's private parts. So you're going to see private parts. Uh, I tried to play it a second time, but I couldn't get through it. I was just like, you know what? I'm done seeing Titty's ass and vagina and the whole jizz thing. I don't want to see that again. I think I'm done. That's a little bit too much of Erica or her sister or both that I don't want to see. So I, I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. I don't get the art behind it. I would love to hear what what the concept behind it was. Uh, especially with such a classic song like that uh, that she was singing. It's interesting. Wow. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm really like really flabbergasted by this because otherwise I would I'd never really make video responses, but. This one, you have to definitely see this video. Check it out. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Peace out.